hate going to funerals. You're meant to celebrate someone's life, but that's really fucking hard when everyone's boring black and crying their eyes out. For my funeral, I want to ban crying. I don't want to ban black, though, because I love wearing black, and black makes everyone look good. Yeah. I want the atmosphere to be happy, and that's really cliche to say, but I don't want my funeral to be the sad, sad thing. Happy memories should not make people sad. I want people to remember the best times and laugh about them. I want my friends to remember that time I had a cold and blew a snot bubble the size of my head, or that time I threw up all over the floor at Denny's. Twice. <laughs> People should look forward to my funeral in the least morbid way possible. One guy will be like, hey man, did you hear about that funeral tomorrow night? I heard it's going to be sick. And the other guy will be like, man, what the hell is wrong with you? It's a <laughs> I get this. During the service or whatever, everyone will be asked to look under their chairs for a su surprise gift like they do on Oprah. <laughs> And the gift can be like a gift card to a vegan bakery or something, and everyone can roll their eyes and say, yeah, that's her. <laughs> oh, and I don't drink, but I want everyone in the room to have a mixed drink of their choice. Put it on my tab, I'll be dead anyways. <laughs> and I'm gonna need a DJ who knows their shit. Play some hip hop, play some punk, play some cumbias, play some mashups, play the cooks, play the theme to Little Root Town, I don't give a fuck. And please, don't spend $2,000 on a casket. I want a plain box so everyone can sign it like a cast. Yeah. Just don't be that idiot that writes, get well soon. <laughs> <laughs> when I die, it's okay to miss me. It's okay to be upset. But the purpose of my funeral won't be to mourn my death, but to celebrate my life. Yeah.